Hi, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Theo, I met you at the red carpet at Work in Progress in Chicago before. Oh my God, that was so long ago. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you again. Good to see you. Um, so I would just want to talk about, uh, well, the Glee moment when everyone's singing together. How was that, rehearsing that? Not the Glee moment. Yeah. The was, Glee really, moment, that's funny. It was so fun. Yeah. It was just like all around just the speakers or, or did we do we have speakers i think we had speakers yeah we had and, little we had like a little earbud and earbud that was yeah little earbud was cool and yeah. it was just like everybody was like actually just kind of singing at the top of their lungs and yeah was, screaming sometimes yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and it was really fun yeah yeah i was i was definitely intimidated by what i was thinking of as like it being the musical theater number of the film I was like, I have to be, if we have choreography, I have to be on point. I have mm -hmm. to sing all the notes correctly. It's like a performance. And John was like, no, it's like a campfire song. It's everybody, you know, singing together and like forgetting about all their troubles for a second and like dancing together. And, you know, I don't know, the magic of it was really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of, it's cool because it's a little bit of a homage to Friday the 13th. Uh, the OG, The OG film starts with bunch of camp counselors uh, singing together. Um, and it's like mm. how the movie is set up. And I think about that moment, but it's like our version of it. It's like, we're not singing, you know, because it's like, we're unaware and we're about to get slashed. It's like, we're singing because it's what we do to come together. And it's what we do to survive mm -hmm. and not get emotionally slashed by conversion mm -hmm. therapy. Right. And um, I'd say it's that moment where having a queer creative right writing this comes clearest yeah right mm -hmm. i mean it's all throughout the film but it's this moment where it's like wait you're gonna sing a pink song <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like why not song, let's do it pink song? yeah that's the difference that authentic create creation makes mm -hmm. yeah i wondered if you everyone just bonded so well did you ever was there talk about spending the night on at the camp or anything like that some oh people my. some some people said that they some of the crew members said that they had slept there and like and like I used to go to summer camp as a kid sometimes like one time it was like Jesus camp but mm -hmm. one time it was like normal camp oh, okay. and like I like being out in the woods and so I was like I want to sleep here and then I was like I don't know maybe I'm scared actually it's really dark <laughs> out here y'all couldn't pay me to sleep at that camp <laughs> I'm sorry those that... beds were a little interesting the beds yeah. were interesting mm -hmm. and there was this rumor that there's this little boy haunting this haunting the joint I I'm was like, sad I didn't know about if this. I see it, there's about to be an exorcism in this place because <laughs> I'm not handling it. I'm not doing it. So, uh, but yeah, that would be mad scary to sleep there. Oh my God. Yeah. I'll never forget, I went to a church camp and they painted my nails and they made fun of me for being gay. Like at a church Are camp. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. you, they painted your nails and then they're going to get you? Yeah, and then they came after me and bullied me. Yeah, and they were like, "Ha ha!" Yeah, that sounds so... sounds like our movie. Actually. Yeah, it does actually. Sounds like projection. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Fewer knives. But... Yeah, right. Yeah. Fewer knives, but uh huh. <laughs> Sorry that happened. Yeah, me too. Seriously. Sorry yeah. that happened. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Well, you know, it's over with. I'm better now. Um, so, did uh, is, do you think this is the time for a you know deeper movie where there are? I mean, those personal scenes just tore me up. Like, how was filming that and and you know on the set? The serious stuff was empowering and challenging. You know, it for me, it like almost provided a little bit of a space for me to reflect on when I actually was, you know, a teen and having the experiences that I was having at the time. It like gave space to me for that person to heal, if that makes sense. Um, and also it was like, I just really wanted the scenes to, I really wanted everything to be effective and to like do everything right because I wanted to do justice um, to like how serious this topic is and how horrible it is and how destructive something like conversion therapy is like I wanted it to be taken seriously. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, like as a I think Toby is, you know, as a cis male femme like guy has always been critiqued on his gender presentation. Like, oh, okay, well, if you a boy, act like it type thing. And um, I definitely had to revisit some, you know, some things, some, some, you know, people, people telling me things. I grew up in Cobb County, Georgia. Shout out to Georgia, shout out Cobb County. And it was very uh, hush, hush. You could not say anything. I, as far as I knew, did not know one gay person growing up. So 
it it was very um i mean it was a little triggering but it came through in that scene and it, uh, in terms of delivering um and i'm glad that it just that it wasn't in vain that i could go back to that place and all of us could like go back to our places or yeah and, and it actually just it yeah. served it yeah that makes me think too it like it like when revisiting those past times for me personally it reminded me of how much that i survived you know that i like i maybe didn't understand what was going on at the time because like i just was like this is me nobody's going to change who i am like i'm not going to be affected by anybody and like really thinking about all of this stuff and is yeah. t because when y'all see the counselors and, and what their histories have been yeah it's like i know y'all not talking mm -hmm. i know that y'all are not talking and, it, and there's so many environments when you know there's bearded energy for those for the straight people that are watching beard means okay you about that life but you're not living it mm -hmm. um and it's interesting to see that projection happen with it within that community so yeah you know, which yeah. right and the way it right. happens the way that shows up in real life yeah. yeah and you know we when we were making this film we didn't you know we couldn't have guessed the world would take the hard turn that it has to where it is today and this film is even more relevant right now uh, in the, you know, as the Supreme Court is talking openly about rolling back LGBTQ rights, um, you know, to bring this back to say, look at yourselves, this, you know, the way film holds a mirror up um, is going to be even, mm -hmm. even more than we thought it would be when we yeah. were filming it. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, Got to wrap, but it was great to see you. Come visit me in Chicago again, Theo. Bye. Uh, I live in Chicago, so <laughs> oh. I'll see you around. Well, yeah, we need to hang out. Okay. Yeah.